After three games played out of the eight game 1972 Summit Series, Canada and the Soviets both had a record of one win, one loss, and one tie, bringing them into game four in Vancouver, BC with some angry Canadian fans and the Canadian press not saying very positive things towards Team Canada. With the players of Team Canada heading to the dressing room after a 5-3 loss in Game 4 to the Soviets, one player remains on the ice. Phil Esposito is given the microphone to address a wooden beat nation. For the people across Canada, we tried, we did our best, and uh, for the people that boo us, geez, I, I'm really... I, all of us guys are really disheartened and we're disillusioned and we're disappointed in some of the people. We cannot believe the bad press we've got, uh, the, the booing we've gotten in our own buildings. And if, if, if the Russians boo their, their players, if the fans, Russians boo their players like some of the Canadian fans, I'm not saying all of them, some of them booed us, then I'll come back and I'll apologize to each one of the Canadians, but I don't think they will. I'm really, really, I'm really disappointed. I am completely disappointed. I cannot believe it. Some of our guys are really, really down in the dumps. We know, we're trying, what the hell? I mean, we're, we're doing the best we can, and uh, they got a good team, and let's face facts. But uh, it doesn't mean that we're not giving it our 150%, because we certainly are. I think, uh, Phil, the disappointment is a natural thing, because it, the whole thing was an unexpected thing. They, you know, we all live with the National Hockey League. We have all been so proud yeah, no. over the years how great they are. It's unexpected uh, because of the press said that we are so good. Or not one of well, us guys is, yeah, said no, we were good. No, 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 this is the thing. This is the thing that I'm, on behalf of the fans, I must say that, uh, that uh, probably, since everything is, is relative, we know how good you people are. The people didn't realize how good the Soviet team was, and now we found out how good they are. I think we can appreciate how good is, both teams are. But I'll tell you, we, we love, I mean, every one of us guys, 35 guys that came out and played for Team Canada, we did it because we love our country, and not for any other reason, no other reason. They can throw the money uh, for the pension fund out the window. They can throw anything they want out the window. We came because we love Canada. And even though we play in the United States and we earn money in the United States, Canada is still our home, and that's the only reason we come. And I don't think it's fair that we should be booed. As I was doing that, people were yelling and screaming at, at us, calling me names. Communism is better, don't you admit it now, and all this other stuff. This is Vancouver. And guys out of the stands were yelling that communism is best, and it's supreme. That's when I really realized, man, we are in a war here. This is no game. This is war.